Welcome to Making Money with Laura Sanders, a name you can trust. With over 20 years of real estate experience and selling over 150 homes a year, Laura Sanders is the number one REMAX agent in the state of Florida for 2021. Join us each week as we discuss how to make money through buying and flipping homes to renting versus selling and everything in between. To, to join the conversation, call in live. 888-994-4995, Studio A. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Making Money with Laura Sanders, and I am your host, Laura Sanders. Every week, we talk about something that can help save you or make you some money or kind of save you from crazy something world. in this crazy and world. This week, and I wanted to talk about bed bugs. I know it sounds like a crazy topic, but believe it or not, I've heard it's definitely an epidemic in France, heard it's actually an epidemic in the United States. So how can you protect yourself, not bring those home when you go to a hotel or even buy something from Goodwill? Today, we have Miles Malberg with Allied Pest Management. He's one of the greatest pest guys I know out there. He knows how to get rid of those pesty pests. <laughs> anyway, welcome, Miles. Thank you, Laura. So. I know this is a crazy topic, but the other day, my mom and I are talking, and she says to me, my neighbor has bed bugs. And I said, I actually wonder if they can jump from your house to her house. I was also thinking to myself, because termites is kind of like, you have a couple of different kinds of homes, right? The homes that have termites, and the homes that are gonna have termites, typically, right? And then I was thinking Correct. to myself, Okay. She was like, well, I'd rather have bed bugs than have termites. And I'm like, hell no, I'd rather have termites any day than have bed bugs. So I right. figured, you know what? It's a great topic. Let's talk about bed bugs. And which would you rather have, termites or bed bugs? Personally, termites. I thought so, but... Bed, bed bugs are very difficult to eradicate from a, from a home, a hotel, any, you know, a bus, a movie theater anywhere so, so I, I looked at what a bed bug i saw a bed bug before when i was actually at a disney hotel and of course they just basically blew me off for me it looked like a little red pepper flake like that you would see like you yeah. know just like a little smushed little red pepper so tell us what you know about bed bugs tell us how, what we can do to protect ourselves to not okay. bring these crazy little creatures home because they're, I heard their eggs are hard to get rid of. Like once they spread, my mom was saying that the neighbor said five years ago, one of their kids brought it home. They were treating for it. She thought it was gone and now it's taken over the entire house. Could it jump to her house? The only way it's really gonna get into uh, your home is somebody bringing it in, like in a suitcase, a backpack, or you're sitting on their couch and they crawl onto your clothing and then you bring them in that way. And that that's happened. You just gotta be, you gotta do your due diligence with bed bugs and just make sure that the home you're going into, the hotel room you're going into, buses, cars. I mean, like everybody's taking Uber and Lyfts now. It could be in there. You just gotta be, do, do your due diligence and just make sure that uh, they're not getting on you or getting on your belongings. But you say do your due diligence. It's, so what does that tough. mean? Be a little more specific, like I'm it's, getting into an Uber. I mean, what am I gonna do? First of all, it's dark out, I can't really see. So I guess yeah. there's a good possibility. So I mean, you could, you could it ask sounds the, like- You could ask a gentleman, hey, do you do pest control regularly in your vehicle? <laughs> I don't, um, how do you ask we, that? Well, you can just ask them. We do a limousine service and we treat their buses and all of their vehicles on a monthly basis. And we, and we check for bed bugs in their vehicles and roaches too. So wait, Daily. okay, roaches um, I get, but do you find bed bugs when you're doing this? I'm just curious. Yeah, we we had on, we do two limousine services and one vehicle we inspected and did have bed bugs in it. The guy pulled the vehicle off the route and then we started treating it until we knew they we had them eliminated. You know, m most of the time with bed bugs, you're either going into a home that is infested, they're getting on your clothing, or they're they're getting on belongings that you brought into that particular home and then you bring them into your home. And that's the issue. Or a hotel room, like you said, you were at Disney. That's probably well, the biggest problem with hotels. And that's the thing, I check 
when I go in before I put my suitcase down, I ch check the corners of the beds, and that's where I found it. They switched our room, but you know, obviously they just blew me off as if like maybe I brought it with me, like that I'm just trying to get out of pain. I, I was kind of I kept telling yeah. my husband that's definitely a bed bug. Like it's definitely a bed bug. You know, well, when um, you go to a hotel room and I do I do this all the time when I go into a hotel room before I even be, even bring my bags in into the room. I do what you do. I check the bed. I open up the sheets, check all the cups around the bed. You look at the bed headboard. You look at the box spring. You open up the drawers and look in the drawers of the dresser. That's the best you can really do. And then most hotel rooms have that one floor stand where you can put your suitcase on. And normally that's what I suggest to people is put your suitcase on that floor stand. Keep keep your clothes out of the uh, dresser. Definitely don't put your clothes on the floor at all. Probably 95% of the time you're not going to get bed bugs as long as you're doing that. Also, there are sprays that you can bring with you. And I do this when I go when I travel and you can treat the the dresser. You can treat the, the bed as a precaution. Okay. Even if you don't see anything. What's so what's this? Do we have to call you for this magical spray? No, you I mean, can that's probably what you want. It. You can buy it. At, you can buy it online. You okay. can buy it on Amazon. I'm not going to say the name of the product, but it's you just you could put bed bug spray, travel spray, and it'll pop up. Okay, so now let's just say we have bed bugs. Would tenting the house help to get rid of it? Would that be like, or would you still have to really set the house on fire? I mean, I'm it's asking. Bed bugs are really, really difficult. If you could catch it at their, if you can catch the infestation at its at its infancy when it's just be relatively just beginning, you can get rid of them by using just basic conventional insecticides, pyrethroids. Even though the book says that the bed bugs have built up resistance against a lot of the pyrethroids that we're using now, but again, if you can catch it at the infancy, it's you can get rid of them. If your home is severely infested with bed bugs, you're talking about throwing out furniture, throwing out bedding. And a lot of times what you have to do is you've got to dust the walls, drill into the walls, you inject dust, pull the electrical covers off the wall, inject dust that way. There's a lot of things that the homeowner needs to do too for infestations. Or like you mentioned, tent fumigation. You so can tenting tent. could help. It could, that could work. That's oh, like definitely. strong enough. Yeah. Tenning. Yeah. Tenning I'd go straight probably, for the tenning. I'm not going to lie to you. Like yeah, I, I would go it, straight for tenning <laughs> personally, yeah. but and I rec I've recommended it to people where I've gone into the home and it's just so bad. I'm just like, listen, you're better off tent fumigating your house. And it's you don't a, even do expensive. tenting. Right. You don't even do tenting. You're, you're recommending something that yeah. you refer out. Oh yeah, definitely. So. Yeah. But with tent fumigation, you have to increase the dosage of the fumigant, they say three times the recommended rate for drywood termites. Oh, wow. Yeah, you gotta, well, they gotta pen penetrate the insect egg. All right. The, the, uh, well, the bed bug egg. Well, we're gonna go to commercial break, but when we come back, I wanna ask you like, how often are you seeing bed bugs? How often are you treating for them? And what's the outcome and see, cause if you're saying three times the amount, that's pretty crazy. So stay tuned, we'll be right back right, to hear more about bed bugs cause it really is something that people need to know that's going on right now and you don't want to bring it home i don't want my no. kids to bring it home <laughs> no. we'll be right back whether you're buying selling refinancing or building your dream home you have a lot riding on your loan specialist max fish a top one percent mortgage loan officer in the nation will give you a same day qualifying quote Max Fish is committed to providing his customers with mortgage services that exceed their expectations, ensuring that you make the right choice for you and your family is his ultimate goal. Contact Max Fish today at 954-729-6933 or max.fish at nwmcorp.net. At JK Closing Attorneys, we do all of the same things that a title company does, but with the benefits of being a law office. We can help with residential real estate, short sales, commercial real estate, refinances, 1031 exchanges, and FRIPTA withholding. 
Contact JK Closing Attorneys today at 954-332-3111. Again, that is 954-332-3111. You have been watching Making Money with Laura. For more information, contact Laura Sanders at 954-650-0827 or visit her website at thelaurasell.com. And now back to the show. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Making Money with Laura Sanders. And we wanted to make sure that we help you to not bring home bed bugs. Wanted to give you some advice because let me tell you how costly this would be to you if you brought home bed bugs. So let's welcome back Miles and wanted to talk to Miles and ask him, Miles, how often are you treating bed bugs right now? Hey, Laura. Yeah, thank you for that question. Uh, I'm actually doing a treatment tomorrow. For bed bugs so tell us a little um, bit about that well this she had a bed bug issue this particular client had a bed bug issue about about a year ago and her neighbor's house was tent fumigated for bed bugs so she's really really concerned and she's like miles what should we do and i'm like you know are you seeing anything she's like no i'm not but i'm really she's pretty freaked out about what's going on so her neighbor's house being 10 fumigated for bed bugs. So I said, hey, we can do it. We can do a topical treatment with some insect growth regulators and a basic parvithroid. You're not seeing anything as a precaution. And she agreed. So we're doing it tomorrow. We had a call last week for bed bugs. And this gentleman went to Orlando, but didn't stay in Disney World went to another hotel and he brought the bed bugs home in his suitcase. And it was a, the infestation was in its infancy. It was a very, not a very heavy infestation, pretty minor. Caught it early, we treated it last week. And I actually, I called them yesterday to see how things were going and they haven't seen anything at all. So I'm go, actually, I'm going out Monday and I'm gonna go there and physically do a, a a full inspection on the property to make sure that we're not having any issues there. Now, does he have to get rid of the clothes that are in the suitcase? Did you recommend getting rid of the suitcase? Like, yeah, what they did is, you know, when you have infestations like that, what you want to do is take all your clothing and wash it in hot water, hot, so hot, soapy water, and then put it in the dryer, a hot dryer. That's one of the, you know, that's one of the great things about, um, you know, modern modernization that we've got washer and dryers now, hey, and they're killing bed bugs. So, you know, we've had a decrease in bed bugs since we, you know, washer and dryers came on actually. Um, and then, yeah, I told him to de definitely dispose of the, the uh, suitcase. So he threw it out immediately. So how many bed bug cases do you think that you're doing right now? Any more now this year than last year? Because I heard in France, it's definitely an, an epidemic right now. France has always been bad. Uh, Europe, Europe is bad. You, you know, uh, New uh, England, United Kingdom is bad. France is probably the worst in, in Europe, it, but it's bad here too. I would say we, we do probably about four or five bed bug treatments a month. I really think is a whole lot, to be but honest. But that's with you. pretty stable over the last several years. Yeah, yeah. It, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. South Florida is. It, we're like. Nationwide, we're probably, and I'm just gonna use South Florida, like let's say the three counties, Palm mm -hmm. Beach, Broward, Dade. We're at, we're like maybe 18, number 18, 20 on the list in the United States. It's the big city, Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, Dallas has been really bad. Those cities are very bad with infestations. Uh, Chicago is number one in the country, by the way. God, I'm just like, I'm freaked out. <laughs> my son travels for hockey, so I'm just like, oh my God, the yeah. likelihood they're gonna bring it back is like, I, I don't want yeah. to jinx myself. Um, well, you know, a lot of the hotels and are really, they, they're doing, well, let's hope they're doing it. Their due diligence, you know, and their maintenance of their of their hotel rooms and, you know, trying to train the, the people there to look for evidence of bed bugs and and there's evidence you can you can look you can look for their droppings they do what does their droppings look matter. like it's basically blood because they're blood suckers 
You know, yeah. they, that's how, that's what they need. They need a they need a blood meal to survive, even though they can go 300 days, 310 days without a blood meal and wow. still survive. That's what you look for. You look for evidence like that. And it looks like little specks. It looks like little little specks of blood. And that's where you that's where you have to have the maids of these hotels look for that. So and you could do that, you know, like while we were, we were talking about doing your inspections. That's what you would look for. And they the bed bugs have a complete uh, have a gradual metamorphosis too so they shed their outer their outer skeleton and you'll see you'll you will actually see it looks like or like an orange dust on on things and that is evidence of bed bugs oh, kind wow. of an orangish color yeah and I it hope smells you're checking too. my when you do my airbnbs i hope you're checking for them because I do, do like to stay, I do great, like to stay in my point. own Airbnbs once in a while. <laughs> no, what we do there, that's a great point. What we do with, because we do a lot of Airbnbs. And what we do is we spray the edges of the bed. Oh, okay. That's what we do. Okay. And the, that's the best we can do. And it really comes down to the people that are cleaning the Airbnbs. Right. It's, you know, yeah. Pest control operators, it's, it's important us, for us to treat correctly. It really comes down to the maintenance people doing their, doing their due diligence and, and cleaning correctly and inspecting, to be honest with you. Right. So anything that you would say other than when you go traveling to get some kind of spray to take with you to spray when you get to the hotel so that maybe you kill them right when you get there so you don't bring them home with you, right? That's number one. Anything else that you would recommend to us? I mean, if you do have it, obviously get rid of the suitcase that you brought home, get your clothes into hot, soapy water. Any any other recommendations? Because usually you'll know you have them because they'll start to bite you sometimes, right? Like you right. have little sores yes, on your body? That's where people notice them because they'll get bit by them. And um, it's, a, it's a pretty big welt that they develop on your body. And there's really no, there's no, there's nothing you can really do about it. You can put ointment on it, but that's pretty much the first sign of bed bugs is when you get bit. So yeah, just, you know, check when you go to the hostels, just check, man, check those dressers, check the bedding. It's the best thing to do at your home. You, you know, there's some, there's a lot of things, you know, keeping your place clean is number one vacuuming, is really important, you know, change your bed sheets regularly. You know, you know, I, I do my bed sheets every week. Just some, things like that, maintenance, number one. Yeah. So. Any other bugs though that are worse than bed bugs? That... Ticks. Ticks are pretty, ticks are. They, they ticks mutate though? Our... Like they like, they multiply ticks. a lot? Yeah, ticks are, they're not an insect. They're a spider in the spider family they're similar to bed bugs but they'll get you sick the, like, where you're sick sick right like you yeah now with, bed, with uh, ticks yeah you can get some pretty bad diseases from ticks you don't see it too much down here in south florida but when you go up into the northern part of the country like the northeast the northern mm -hmm. midwest Mich michigan wisconsin they, up there they have i forgot the name of the disease that that they get up there it's pretty bad Actually, I've heard of Lyme disease. They get it from the, there you go, Lyme disease. Yeah. <clears throat> they get it mainly from deer ticks. The thing with uh, the similarity it's hard between to detect. tick, pardon me? It's hard to detect too. Oh, you'll, the ticks you'll see. No, ticks no, will, ticks they, I know you pull them out, out with like a tweezer out of your hair usually. Or, yeah. I, my mom's from with Kentucky, ticks? so I've seen them. My brother's had it in his head, like, so I've seen it before. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong with him. I, I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's nothing I did wrong a lot with him. Of, I did a lot of camping and we always check. I did always in Boy Scouts and we always check the kids when we went camping. We always did exactly what you did. So we always checked their heads for for ticks. But yeah. the similarity between ticks and bed bugs is that is ticks lay the tick female can lay anywhere from two to three hundred eggs in in one sitting. Mm -hmm. Um the bed bugs, they, a, a bed bug female can lay about three to 400 eggs, but they, they do like 15 to 20 
each day. Not like a tick. A tick can lay them all at one time, and then that's it, and they're done. Oh, so, so there's some similarities there. Right. Okay. Any any other bugs before? Because we're, we're actually almost running out of time. So any other things that you recommend? Anything that you tell us that we should watch out for? I, if, sticking with bed bugs, man. Just if, if you're taking Ubers, you're taking a taxi, you get on a bus, you go to a, a movie theater, just make sure when you get out, check your body and just maybe just do a brush down, even that, because yeah. now that's, that's the key. And just, you know, when you know. get it home, man, check than, your... It sounds worse than COVID to me personally, but, um, <laughs> it can be. Yeah. Well, so tell us how we can get in touch the... with you. Tell everyone how we can get oh. in touch with you. If we decide, if we think that we might have bed bugs or any other kind of pest problems. And I don't mean yeah, like our sure. husbands, yeah. I mean, you know, legitimate <clears throat> pest problems. Yeah, exactly. I know us husbands. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can call bad. the office. <laughs> us, you could call the office uh, at 954-862-1723. That's the Broward line. Uh, in Dade County, it's 305-234-6574. So you're um, doing Dade, our- Broward, and Palm Beach? Yes. Okay. Yep. And then, and then our... Email our uh, our website is alliedpestmanagement.com. Great. And, and if you didn't get that, just give your favorite realtor, Laura Sanders, a call, and I will hook you up go. with Miles because I will give him your number directly. Because if you're a top realtor, you actually have there a cell are. phone and you can just text him, and he's really responsive. Go. He gets on it as soon as he can, and you know he's still running the business. So. That's always good to have owners of the company that care and get out there in the field themselves. So we want to thank you so exactly. much for talking about such a dirty topic. Um, it is. It's a dirty topic. But I just it felt is. people needed to know about bed bugs and that it is out there and that we need to be careful. So guys yeah. and girls, when you're going out, double check because they love to bite. Anyway. They do. Again, and if you're looking for a top agent, give me a call. Laura Sanders with REMAX Direct, 954-650-0827. Looking to make sure your listing looks the best possible to get you the most money. Give me a call. And thanks for joining us tonight. And have a great night. Thanks, Laura. Thanks for having for coming on. Thank you for tuning in for Making Money with Laura Sanders, a name you can trust. To join the conversation, call us at the studio, 888-994-4995-STUDIO-8, or contact Laura directly at 954-650-0827. Laura Sanders, a name you can trust. We look forward to seeing you next.